Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Today I'm so excited to show you all the 2019 Newmar King Air. Now you're probably wondering why I'm in a jacket and it's kind of freezing. Um, it's because with, it's taken us till January that we've had a King Air in long enough in stock that I had time to do a video. So thanks for your patience and hopefully you'll get some new information about this gorgeous coach. So as you know, Newmar's been making coaches for over 50 years. Um, this is their top of the line, the King Air, and this is the 4534 that I'm gonna show you today. A few things that I wanna point out while we're at the front of the coach is, first of all, the three marker lights at the top, and then you can also see the camera up there. So that's the first of seven cameras that we have for the King Air, which contribute to the 360 bird's eye view that we can have of the coach while we're um, you know, either in a campground or driving down the road, one of my favorite things that uh, they do. Also, I want you to note that the beautiful windshield, I know that sounds a little silly, but Newmar mounts our windshield just like the audio industry mounts theirs. So it's kind of seamless, it's beautiful, it's not just a rubber gasket that's holding that in place. Also, you're gonna see a little uh, rectangle here. Some people are gonna ask what that is. That's part of your mobile eye, so that's your lane departure detection system. Do you notice that, any, that anything's missing when you look at the windshield of the new air? Well, I like to note that you can't see the windshield wipers. So they're tucked up in here, which is really nice. Not only does I think it look aesthetically pretty that you don't see them when you first look at the windshield, but also if you've got a strong wind coming at you, it protects those. It does, you're not gonna have them blown off the front of your coach. Believe me, it can happen. It has happened to me. We've also got these beautiful chrome exterior mirrors. These are uh, heated, internally controlled. We also have the, um, you've got the marker light here. You have your camera in there so that when you turn on your blinker light, you're gonna see down the full length of the coach. And uh, they're just really nice and a little turn signal in there as well. Here, you might be wondering what this little square is here. This is for our flagpole holder. So. We've got the handy dandy little flagpole holder here. Put that in there, seamless, it, or you know, just looks nice. And then you can hang your, you know, NIRVC flag, your obviously our great country's flag, um, or your favorite, you know, college, whatever it might be. But that's kind of a fun little feature that Newmar does. Now you've got several ways that you can get into your coach. First of all, obviously, we have the key and the key fob. And then we have the keyless entry here, so we can put on our own. Um, code so you can let a repair technician in or if you've got the grandkids coming over you can give them the code which is really nice the other way that you can get in is off of your uh, my rosie app that you can download to your ta your phone or your tablet so you can um, you know give access or open your door from that as well so lots of lots of ways to get in this great coach obviously i want to talk about um, one of the main features that you get when you when you buy either the london air essex or king air and that is these hydraulic steps so as I open the door, these steps are gonna come down and they're center. I can stop that wherever I want it to. Normally I'd let them extend the full way down, but say I've got a curb in the way or um, you saw how easy it was for just my leg to touch it, it's not gonna hurt. There's a sensor in the front and on the bottom here, so they stop, but these steps are great. They almost come down to the ground, so you're not heaving yourself up into the coach. Neymar also gives you great grab handles, so just really nice, um, luxurious feature. If you go into other RVs, pay attention to the steps. They're not like these. It may not sound like much, but another new feature that I really like is if you're inside the coach and you're wanting to go out and you've just got your screen door um, you know, shut and your big door's open, you don't have to slide the pa panel anymore to get out. So you just hit that little lever and you can open and shut that door without opening and shutting this uh, the little plastic cover there. So just another nice little feature. Newmar's always adding new things and that's one of the things they gave us in um, 2019. 
So then we get to our great Michelin tires. So we've got the Michelin 365 tires. So people are probably wondering, what does the 365 tire mean? It means that you have a wider uh, track, more rubber on the ground, which is gonna give you that nicer ride. So you have like a bigger pillow and it's gonna soften your ride. So they don't get taller, they get wider. Um, we also want to point out here, another thing that Newmar does is they've got a steel plate here that protects your fuel line. So any debris, you know, uh, tires, whatever, rocks that are on the road that get flipped up, that's right where your fuel line is, right behind your front tires. So they protect that with a steel um, plate, which is really nice. We have the aluminum tires, which are the Durabrite, so you never have to polish them. You've probably been wondering which gorgeous paint color this uh, is on this King Air. This is the Ashford exterior paint color. We also did the Ashford interior. Um, just to note that one of Numar's calling cards is its ability to customize the coach. So on the inside, we made a few little changes. I changed a couple fabrics in the front of the coach and the countertops, just to let you know um, that's an option with Numar. You can also customize your paint color. Now this, like I said, is an Ashford, but if I wanted to um, change the paint, I can, you know, if I wanted to make this white stripe, take that out and put in a black stripe, probably wouldn't be the best combination, but um, you can do that. You can change all four colors or just one. You just have to stay with the King Art graphics. Newmar only uses the best paint. They use BASF paints. So you'll see that on Mercedes and Lamborghinis. They start with two base coats and then they do three coats of their skin color, which is the, the, mo the biggest color on the coach. And then they do two coats of every other color and then they do four coats of clear and five stages of cut and buff so as you run your fingers down the side of the paint of a king art you don't even feel that transition they just do a gorgeous paint job and then if you've ever done caulking it's it's a it's a um, definitely a great skill to have and they do a wonderful job just nice and smooth and looks beautiful just adds to the beauty of this gorgeous coach most manufacturers mount their air conditioning unit to a pan. Um, Newmar mounts their air conditioning units right to the roof of the coach. And so there's a few things that, that are really nice about that. First of all, if you've mounted it to a pan and the condensation, say you've got condensation, say it's raining and that pan overfills and runs over, you may have uh, that water running into your coach. Numar does it right to the roof and then it's um, slanted so that the, the runoff, the condensation runs to the corners of the coach. Uh, so you have a gutter system that runs along the whole roof line of the coach and then an internal gutter. So you're never gonna have um, water running down the sides of your coach making those kind of unsightly water stains on the side of the coach. It's gonna fall out the, um, we don't have any AC on today, so you'd normally see water coming out, but you've got a little spout. If you ever do see water running over the side of the coach, then you've probably got a um, clog or a kink in your drain line. So you need to use an air check, just clear that out and then the gutters will let the water run down the, the inside of the coach rather than on the outside of your gorgeous paint job. So the King Air comes equipped with the Gerard awnings with the Nova pitch. So you can uh, work these off of the remote. So you just put it to zero. That's gonna make it so that I can get both my remotes to come out at the same time and then hit the down button. So now that I've got the awnings fully extended, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the little light switch here. Illuminate my beautiful LED lights, and I've set the nice environment for my tailgate party. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these awnings out. It gives me a little extra shade, but you can see that Nova pitch really does help. Also, I want you to note that we have the frameless dual pane windows that are all around this coach. Here we have the fuel fill for our 200 gallon fuel tank and that's dual fill. So I can fill it from the driver's side or the passenger side. So I can actually you know, try both sides at one time and fill this almost as quickly as I can fill my car. Not quite, but you know, close enough. Then we've got our docking lights and our marker lights. The docking lights are really gonna help you. I know that everyone says they're not gonna pull into a campground when it's dark, but you know, situations happen you know, traffic or whatever, we get into the campground a little bit later than we hoped, and those docking lights really come in handy when we're parking our beautiful coaches. We don't want to run into 
you know, rocks, picnic tables, trees, whatever it might be. They just protect your coach. Now we're gonna go into one of my favorite features. Well, really, I love this on the King Air. Um, all day long, I'm at the lot at National Din Indoor RV Centers and I'm opening and shutting um, baggage compartments, doors all day long and slamming them. I remember when I first started working here, I was, a, I was afraid to slam the doors and they were like, Angie, they're slam doors. So slam the doors, you don't have to worry about them. You won't break these babies. But on the King Hair, I don't have to do that anymore because it's all, you can see there's no handles. So it's just push button, I just push the button and the door opens so nicely. I have this nice big compartment. Now I've got the slides out. Normally when I'm loading, unloading my coach, I might have my slides in, but this isn't a super deep slide, so I wanted to show you it this way. Then again, I just go to the next door, push the button, and voila! And then behind this door, we have our pass-through tray and that's powered. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend this all the way so you can see how, how far it's gonna come out. And then show you another little trick that they've got on this tray that I really like, or feature. So it really comes out a long ways. Then if I've got a heavy, like say I've got my, um, my tools or a heavy cooler or something I'm putting in there and I don't wanna have to lift it, lift it over this ledge, I can just lift that up. and then I can slide it on and off. So just another thing to help make my RV in life easier. And then I just put it right back in. So you can extend that again from the passenger side or the driver's side. Our second power pass-through tray here. And then here we have our Dometic freezers. So that's on a slide tray as well. I can easily just pull this out. Why don't you see how far that comes out? I don't have to get underneath my slide, get in there, lift that up nice and easy. You set the temperature on this so you can make this a deep freezer. You know, us Texans, we love uh, Bluebell ice cream. You might want to take that to your family across the country, or if you're tailgating, you might want to just use this for drinks. All right, well, I've got the freezer extended here. I just want to show you that you've got your um, intervac. This is your central vacuum for the coach. And again, they've, they've changed the brand on this. You also have a controller on your wand when you're using the vacuum that you can turn on and off. Then you can see we've got our oasis. You, I'm just showing you, it's sort of in the middle of the coach. You normally can't see. That's your hydronic heating module. So it's there, you have access to that. And then you've got your Gerard awning controls and two 110 outlets there as well. As I push the freezer back in here, I want to demonstrate my favorite part about the doors. I know I told you I like the push button open, but this is really the best part. So instead of slamming, you just softly, you know, push the door towards the close, and then it brings it right in, makes it nice and flush. No slamming required. Yay! I love that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go over and open this door. Now, some of these doors, you can hear it click and release, and it's gonna flip up. So it's gonna open up this way because we've got our exterior TV. On this floor plan, this is the only option um, to have the exterior TV down in the baggage compartment rather than on the sidewall. So you still have your 4K 43 inch Sony TV with the Bose soundbar, and you can still pull that out and adjust it so that you can get the best picture without any glare from the sun. Actually, I've had some customers tell me they like the TV down lower because they have more control over the sun coming in and, and putting that glare on the TV. And we've got the nice LED lights in this compartment. And we've got our two 110 outlets here. And then we have our Bose um, audio source selector here. So we can go from TV to off to our dash radio. I just wanted to show you the shot of the baggage compartments with everything open so you can see how much storage you get. Here's our compartment for our DEF, that's diesel exhaust fluid. That's made up of uh, two thirds deionized water and one third urea and no, I don't recommend you making your own. Um, just remember a few little things about DEF, doesn't like uh, heat or light 
and it does have an expiration. It has a shelf life of about a year. So if you're planning on spending six months in Florida in a campground, you may not want to fill that right up. Wait till you're ready to hit the road again. The ratio is 50 to one. So for every 50 gallons of fuel that you use, you'll use one gallon of DEF. Back here to our last compartment on the passenger side, we have our chassis batteries. We have our battery disconnects. They're really nice that they're just right here, easy to get to. We have our um, air dryer and our fuel filter water separator. And we have our power control center for the back half of the coach. So if I took that little cap off, you're gonna see all of the fuses for the back end of the coach. If your marker light goes out, if your tail light goes out, fuses are gonna be right here. And on the King Air, it's really nice. We've got our little lever here. We just pull that up and that will bring up our engine compartment. So mo no more wrestling with that back um, engine compartment door. All right, now to the muscle part of the coach. So the King Air sits on the Spartan K3 chassis. It has the 605 Cummins uh, turbo diesel powered engine with the 4000 Allison transmission, and it has 1,950 pounds of torque. So what does that mean to you? It means that this 20,000 pound hitch, you can tow your um, Jeep Grand Cherokee, you can tow, um, tow your Chevy Suburban, or you can put those together in a stacker trailer and you can tow all of that behind this beautiful coach and you're really not gonna fill it at all. You're just need, gonna need to remember that you've got <laughs> some extra length back there. So. This is a great uh, machine to get you up and down the mountains and get you wherever you wanna go easily. All right, so here in the back of the engine compartment, we have our engine coolant. That should always be orange or red color in there and you wanna make sure it's always full. Looks like we're a little low. We this is your engine oil engine fill. This is where you'd fill it. This is where you would check your um, engine oil. So for those of you that check your car um, <laughs> engine oil, this is a little bit different. So this is about as um, long as I am tall. Is that right? <laughs> anyway, a little bit different than your car, right? You check it the same way though. You wanna make sure you've got plenty of oil in your engine and then you just put it back on there, lock it into place. We have our Allison um, trans fluid here, Phil. Our engine block heater, so if you have this plugged in, you can turn on your engine block from inside the coach on your silver leaf panel. So again, if you need this, you might need to head further south, like today. I wish I was a little bit further south. <laughs> um, we have our air filter minder here, and then our air filter. So you wanna make sure that you change that at least once a year or every 12,500 12, miles. And then you're probably wondering what this is here. Or you might be wondering what those vents are on the outside of your coach. That's the air intake. So it brings in air through this tube and then through your air filter into your engine. Here we have our, um, our airline quick connect here. So I have a, a hose that I can just connect here. And then I take it and I've got a little, another connector that connects to the valve on my tire. Your engine, your diesel engine is just a just a big compressor. So I connect those, go up to the um, front of the coach, press my brake a little bit so I activate the compressor. I'll fill it up to about 125 PSI and then take it off and then just let it bleed out to the right desired PSI. You're gonna have a different PSI for each of your, your drive, your steer, and your tag axle, which will vary depending on how you've loaded your coach. Now remember, at National Indoor RV Centers, you can come in and we'll do a free four-corner weighing of your coach so that you can make sure you've got things distributed um, correctly so that you've got the right tire pressure in your tires. Here we've got the, the Voyager bulkhead connector, so if you want have a camera for your stacker trailer, you can hook that in right here. Then we've got Safe Hall um, on the Spartan chassis, which allows you to um, put your brakes and your lights in your, your airline for your brakes, so everything's right there, what you need. All right, before we head to the driver's side of the coach, I wanna make sure you see another of our seven uh, cameras. Now this year, it's great because they've added the predictive grid lines um, to the camera when you're inside the coach, when you're in reverse, which really help when you're parking this uh, 45 foot coach. 
Here we have our side radiator. This is great for the obvious reasons I just showed you. You saw how accessible everything is in the back engine compartment to get to, checking all your fluid levels, um, just much easier for repairs and working on it. And also you bring in the ambient air from the side of the coach. Um, just, it, you know, side radiators are really nice for that reason. You're probably wondering what this door is on the outside of the coach. Note that there's no handle, so I have to use my magic touch open sesame <laughs> actually I have a little assistance in there but this is for emergency purposes oh, I mean that's what they build it for there it's our emergency egress door in case you need to get out of the coach quicker it's gonna be much easier getting out this than through a window but I think what I um, this is used for more often I see this all the time at the lot at National Indoor RV centers where um, folks are loading and unloading their bathroom and bedroom uh, stuff through this door. It's much quicker, much easier. And then of course, I know I hear the joke all the time, this is not for airing out the coach, although I guess you could do that, but you do have a fantastic vent inside um, that takes care of that for you as well. Also though, if you ever need to um, service or plumb, you know, do anything with the plumbing in your toilet, makes it pretty easy as well. Now normally you'd be doing this from inside the coach, obviously, because you need to get out, but you just remove that panel which easily removes, it's just magnets there. So you can put it back in place after you've used it. Then you just let go of the strap, hold the ladder down, and voila. Okay, once you've uh, used the ladder, you wanna put it away, you just telescope's right back up. Uh, make sure you get it all the way up. Pull that out, it just goes right back into place, grab your panel, shut the door. Here we have our dual fill, fill for our DEF, so we can do that on either side of the coach so you're not gonna have anyone getting mad at you at the gas station. Then we've got a little compartment here just flips open, a little extra spot for our stinky slinky so we don't have to have that um, go rolling around in our wet bay compartment. I get asked this question all the time here, what's this exhaust? This exhaust is for the um, Oasis hydronic um, heating system. So that's where that comes out. Both your generator and your exhaust for the Oasis are on the driver's side of the coach so that you can be enjoying your patio on the passenger side of the coach. Then we have another docking light and marker light. Before I take the slide room in so it's easier to get and show you the baggage compartments, I wanted to make sure I pointed out the slide toppers. So I want you to know how Numar attaches the Girard slide topper to the sidewall of the coach, not the end of the slide. This makes it so that you've got a nice taut slide topper. You're not gonna have that sag that you see on a lot of other coaches. And when you bring it in, you'll note at the very top, there's little um, bristles or brush. So as I bring in that slide, it's gonna gently you know, brush off the debris from the leaves, acorns, whatever's fallen on the top of the slide topper, protecting that slide as it goes in. Here's another one of our side cameras. Uh, again, that contributes to the 360 view that we get. And then we've got our power window awnings right here. So see how those just nicely come out? I don't have to get the stick and pull them out. <laughs> and just above that power window awning, you'll see a little black bracket. That um, is what keeps that slide topper cover uh, taut and next to the coach while you're driving down the road. When that slide topper is extended, you'll sometimes see the little black bracket sticking up and I get asked a lot what that bracket's for. That is to secure the slide topper when it is in and you're traveling down the road. Here we have the access to our, the house batteries from the driver's side. And so you can see that that, I can just pull that out here and then I can pull that whole tray out. Um, first seeing if I need to do that. Then I get asked a lot of questions, a lot of times, what if these, uh, you know, for some reason the button fails? Uh, there is a little release right here that I can pull and access those doors if that ever happens. On to our wet bay. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> they even make that pretty on the King Air. 
So you've got this nice big shower head with uh, the, the on and off and hot and cold here. So that's nice. You can actually take a shower outdoors if you're in the doghouse um, <laughs> or if you've got a dog to wash. Um, then we've got our water filtration system for the coach. And behind here, we have our hot and cold low point drains. And um, if we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers and National Indoor RV Centers, right here it tells you how to winterize your coach. So you'll need to do that if you're not storing your coach indoors and it's in um, cold temperatures in the winter time. Also, whew, we have our gray tank rinse and our black tank rinse. And remember, we've got these rinses. I don't want you to think that it's like a full-on force rinse like you would rinse um, your kitchen sink. It's just going to put extra water in there and try to push that debris um, through your tank. We've got our valve here for our fresh gray and black tanks. So on the King Air, you have a 105 um, gallon fresh water tank, a 80 gallon gray tank, and a 60 black tank. Then here, this is our fresh water fill. Now I like to always keep mine on the auto tank fill, auto and city supply. So basically what that does, I keep it hooked up to city water and in case the city has a low water pressure, if I keep it on that, it's going to constantly maintain the pressure of my water and keep my fresh water tank full. And we've got a water tap here that we can link into. And then this is really nice on the King Air. So this is the mana block system. So this is where you can work on any part of your plumbing in, inside the coach and not have to turn off water to everything. So say I've got a problem with my shower, I can come in here, just turn off the water to my shower, but I could still be you know, washing my clothes and using our, our bathroom. So that's really a nice, a nice function that we've got here. Then we've got our Thetford SantaCon system. That's now standard on the King Air. So if you're using that, you would take this hose and put it through here and then plug in uh, outside. Now they also have the option for a gravity dump if you ever need that too. So you can just hook in here and put that through the bottom of the coach there. Also note that you've got this tub um, in, your, in the King Air. It's not just the bottom of the coach and you have insulation below that tub. This is a um, thermostat controlled compartment. You're going to keep it warm. You're not going to worry about freezing. This is truly a four season coach. And then we've got our water hose, which is on our electric reel, which we all love. As I go to shut the door, I want you to notice that it's on a slipper hinge so that when this slide is extended, it gives you a, bit, a little bit more leverage and accessibility into your door. So that then you just, again, miss slamming. Gotta love that. Makes me happy every time. <laughs> um, then we've got our compartment here for our 50 amp shore power cord and we've got the generator start and stop button here so we can do that here as well we've got a light for this com compartment we've got our uh, SureGuard automatic transfer switch so that's just another protection for your coach and then down here this is really cool um, you've got a 30 amp um, female receptacle right here so those of you that are into NASCAR or have a shop in your stacker trailer, you can just uh, plug in here with an extension cord back to the stacker trailer so you have power there. So I think that's really cool. Again, Numar thinks of everything. Um, then you've got fuse panels here. They're all nicely um, labeled here so you know exactly what you have. And then over here to the side, you can see your two 3000 watt pure sign inverters for the King Air. And you've got your uh, connect here where you can plug into the parks um, cable. Then we've got our power pass-through tray here. Neymar's always great to give us a few extra tiles in case we ever are in need of that. Again, those are powered. Our other powered pass-through tray. And then we have another favorite that you only get on the King Air, and this is our power washer, and it's got a 50-foot cord on that. So you can go all the way around the coach 
and you can wash your coach with hot water. So another great feature that Numar has given us. And then we still have lots of storage over here as well. And our own little squeegee for our windshield. It's great. Then we've got our fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. And one of the little things, I know this is like, I know it's like basic, but it's got the tether. I can't tell you how many times, I'm sure we've all done it right. You've left your um, fuel cap. So the tether there, docking lights, marker lights. And here we have our exhaust for our generator. And here we've got the fuses for the front half of the coach. So um, all here and behind this box, we'd have more. We've got extra spare fuses here. I love that Numar does that so that I don't have them in a baggie or loose and I'm looking for them in all my little special spots throughout the coach. <laughs> um, anyway, and then we've got the uh, hydraulic generator uh, system so it just pushes the generator and the whole front cap right out. You've got to have your coach in accessory mode for that to work. I'm going to go ahead and extend the whole front cap. Now I can get right inside of here so it's really easy to service my generator. We've got the 12,500 watt um, Onan generator. That's right here and the breaker switch is right there. For some reason you did trip a breaker, you would need to pull over and this is where you would um, flip that switch here. Then we've got our fuel air oil filter here. We've got our um, windshield wiper fluid. We've got our emergency suspension fill and exhaust panel for the Spartan suspension. We've got our wussy air horns here and then right in front We've got our, you know, Tim the Toolman, the Taylor air horns that we really want to make sure everyone hears us coming down the road. Here's our HWH hydraulic system for our stairs and our levelers. All right, let's go in and check out this gorgeous coach. As I come into the beautiful King Air, I want to point out a few things. First of all, I love that they've got nice grab bars here and here. So for both arms going in and out, keeps you really safe, especially if you've got any kind of knee issues. And we have the great steps too, um, the hydraulic steps. So here, right when we walk in the coach, we're gonna have our battery disconnect button. So as we're coming in, if we wanna hit those on, or as we're leaving, we wanna turn it off. Super easy, very handy. We also have our um, cargo bay uh, locks, so we can lock or unlock from right there. And then we have our entry well step light. So we can just turn that on so we safely enter the coach. We've got lots of storage up here front in the cockpit area, so storage here. We have our Wi-Fi Ranger up here in this cabinet. More storage. Of course, we have our 43-inch Sony 4K Ultra Def TV, and this is standard now in 2019. Then we have this box. Okay, first of all, I want you to know that we've got our internal camera here so we can see in, inside the coach. And then we have our Traveler's satellite. So that's for HD, high definition um, reception where we're in a campground. We have our over the air antenna. So we just hit that on and hit search. And it's going to lock on to as many local stations as it can get. Then we have our control here for our Gerard awnings. Obviously our silver leaf panel here. So I'm gonna go through this as we um, get to the mid section of the coach. Here we have our satellite system. This is optional equipment. This is our in motion satellite. Um, so we have both HD and in motion on the King Air. And then this is our security sensors. So you can turn this on or off. So you've got um, motion detectors in the coach. Say you wanna leave your um, pet in here and you don't want that motion detector going off, you would just turn it, turn it off. We have our driver security lights, our passenger security lights, driver privacy drape, front privacy drape, door privacy drape, passenger privacy drape. This is kind of like a tongue twister after a while. <laughs> driver side window awning and passenger side window awning. 
Here we have our driver's side slide out. So this is our full wall slide. It's gonna be a hydraulic slide. And then we have our passenger side slide out. This is gonna be an electric slide out. This new member was the first to do a slide out. Um, the cog wheel is a little bit bigger than most manufacturers. So one turn of the cog wheel will move the slide one foot. So we have a lot less issues with their slides because there's a lot less moving parts. Then we have our exterior LED lights our exterior entry step, and our Wi-Fi router. Now this is our Omniscope. Say we're having some troubles with our silver leaf system. A technician can plug into this and diagnose problems that they're having with the silver leaf system, if they, if they are. All right, the King Air has all villa furniture, so we've got these nice comfy seats. They're heated and cooled. I love that because I'm always colder, so I love to have the heated seats. Uh, another feature that we added to it is the massage feature. So you can uh, get a massage while you're going down the road. Gotta like that, right? <laughs> um, then we've got the control, hand controls for our armrests are just inside the tab there. All right, we've got the reclining button here so I can adjust my seat. And then of course the footrest, which is my favorite. So put that out and get really comfortable. Now I'm ready to travel. I can also adjust the seat up and down, forward and back. I talk about a lot of things being marriage savers, you know, the double sink or the big sink, but this truly is because now I can see in my, my little passenger monitor, the same thing the driver can see in his um, cameras. So I can even adjust, I can change what we see. And then if I wanna see it myself, I just scroll over and I can, and I can even see that bird's eye view that I love to see. So I can see the same thing. I can also navigate here. So I can put in the address and that's gonna throw that up over on the screens there. Go to maps. And there we go. I can select the, the brightness as well. So it's pretty cool. I really like that function. All right, right here we have our patio light. So I have a white or an amber option. I have my visor, which is right here, so I can control that. And the step cover to make sure I don't fall into the stairwell. Put that up right there. And my favorite, favorite thing is the fact that I can control the heating and air on my side. So I love that. And then we have our handy dandy little desk. So I can flip that up. I have a little spot for my drink and I can work on my tablet while we're going down the road. Got my drink holder here. I've got my um, 110 outlet plus my two USB outlets. So those are nice and handy. I can charge my devices as we're going down the road. And I have a 12 volt outlet here as well. So I can swivel the two captain's chairs around and then I've got this great living room with seating for one, two, three, four, five, six. All of us have foot rests. So we're gonna have a nice time now if we can just stay awake to enjoy each other's company. Now, you know the interior is my favorite part. The King Air is so gorgeous. This is the 4534 floor plan. So it has some unique features that I'll kind of go over. I also want you to notice the beautiful wood. So this is a sable maple wood. It's a flat panel, gives you more of a contemporary look. This is hand sanded and it has the unitized construction, which means you're never gonna see a seam where two pieces of wood come together. So really makes it beautiful and shows off the, the beautiful craftsmanship that Newmar puts into their, their coaches. Now we have the recliners that has been very popular. The option here, I love these because you can literally sit down here, recline and then push forward. And then all you have to do is just try to stay awake. Numar's added the reading lights. So we've got directional reading lights right above the recliners and you can turn those on and off from the switch so that's just very handy right here. We also have the other switches for lighting and shades on the panel there. And then again, in the King Air, we get the full extension drawers. Look at all that space, yay. And then 
the soft close feature, which I love. So we have a great light panel here. This is for your ceiling lights, your dinette lights, overhead lights, the wall lights, and your accent lights. Another feature that I really like is it has the ceiling lights high and low. So right now I've got the coach all lit up so you can see how beautiful it is. But if you want a little bit of a, a softer lighting feel when you walk into your coach, which I typically would want in my home, you can just push that and it kind of softens up the lighting, makes it really pretty. So we have that. Then we also have one tin outlet that's hidden here behind the window um, valance, and we have one tin outlet behind the chair, behind each chair. So they're hidden and very handy. The chairs also swivel. So another little trick that I like to do when I'm traveling, you can, when you close up the coach, you can turn that chair to the side and gives you a little extra walking space. So I'll show you that when I close up the coach. Now across from the two recliners, we have the sofa. So we have the electric controls for the footrest. That's nice and easy. And then this also makes into a bed. So you have a queen size bed here, plenty of room for two adults. You are gonna touch, that's okay though. Um, all you have to do is plug it in to the wall here and then hit the inflate button. When you're done, you can just stop it and then just hit deflate. You'll, uh, it will deflate and you'll just fold it right back up. Now another nice little feature, you've got your light panel here. So again, you can hit your low lights make a nice little inviting room for your guests. Here we have the Bose 300 touch sound bar, and then we've got our AV cabinet with our Blu-ray DVD player. And I want you to notice that as I open these cabinets, a lot of people wonder why they don't have more space here. We've got a header here, just like you would if you were building a home. So that gives you more of an angled support. You're gonna have that on both sides of the coach. So you have it here and you have it on your driver's side as well. As I go through these cabinets, I really want you to pay attention to the beautiful detailing here. So we've got the flat panel look, which gives you more of a contemporary feel, high gloss, so it's very luxurious. We have 258 pieces of wood in the King Air, and they um, hand sand these, and then we have unitized construction, which means that as you go along the coach, you're gonna see this curvature here, and this big panel here. You're never gonna see a point where two pieces of wood come together. So just very beautifully constructed, and you get that only in the King Air and the Essex. The King Air has the beautiful matte finish porcelain tile floors. So a lot of people like this matte finish. It's not as slick um, as the high, high gloss, but it just finishes off the coach really nice. There is no carpet in the King Air, so full tile floor. And then below the floor, what comes standard this year is electric floor heat. So you've got four inch pads that with electric um, or copper wiring going through those that you turn on the floor heat, you can literally heat this coach with the floor heat. If you put it all the way up, you'll come in and it's gonna be really warm. Um, you're gonna have more of an immediate uh, fill when you turn on the electric floor heat than some of the other manufacturers use different methods. So it's very, um, it's a great way that Newmar does it. And then if you have a problem with it, if you have a section that goes out, you can easily find that section that's not working, take up just that tile only, fix it and you're good to go. With the electric floor heat, you also have your bedroom slide that's heated as well. So that's nice and you get up in the middle of the night, put those feet down on the on the floor, you're not gonna you know, jump back when you get to the cold tile floor because it's all heated. With Newmar's True Airflow system, the AC vents run down the center of the coach. One of the things that I love about Newmar is that you don't, you don't walk in your coach and it's not lined with the vents. So it's really nice, they hide those, it makes it very efficient. So it cools the whole coach, you have your, your AC um, ducts and then your return all underneath these beautiful panels. Another great thing about this is when we bring our slides in, those the AC is still fully exposed. So we're not cooling the top of the slides before we cool the coach. So you're gonna notice a big difference when your slides are in, you're cooling your coach, it's gonna cool off right away. I've released the ceiling panel so that you can see how the AC runs through the center of the ceiling and there's just four latches, so one, two, three, four, then we've got these belts that are kind of securing it so it doesn't swing all the way down. And then to change my filters, all I have to do is just pull the, the filter out like that, take it off, wash it off, 
and then put it right back in and it snaps right into place. Easy as that. And then when I'm done changing my filters, I just push it right back up and lock it into place. One of the features I love about the coach is when you put your nightshades down, you can literally make your coach as dark as a cave. So there you are cuddled up in your, in your bed and you decide you need a late night snack and you want to make your way to the kitchen. Uh, luckily, we've got this motion sensor here. When we enable that, it will give us a nice little courtesy light. So as we step out of bed onto our nice heated floors, we're gonna have the courtesy lights come on, make our way to the kitchen or to the bathroom, and then make your way back and then they'll turn themselves off. To give the King Air more of a bus-like high-end feel, they use the leather in the fascia, which really is pretty. And then you'll notice these huge windows that we have here. So we didn't do the overhead cabinets. That's something that you can option in. If you need the extra space, if you full time in your King Air, you may want that extra space. We love that we have these beautiful windows so we can almost bring the outside in. Another great feature about the big windows is that if you have a problem with your refrigerator and you need to replace it, Instead of having that go through the front door or the, through the windshield, you can take out one of these windows and put everything in and out through that. The 4534 is the chef's delight. This floor plan is made for someone that loves to be in the kitchen. So look at all the counter space you have here behind me. I mean, just tons of space. So it's a great floor plan. The island here is permanently secured into this position. So I like that for a couple of reasons. Obviously you have this nice wide counter space here for prep or you know even serving food, but it also kind of defines your space. So you have your living room and then you have your kitchen. Love that you have um, this Look at these really nice big drawers that you have here. Note the dovetail construction in the King Air. And then again, soft close. And you've got two nice big deep drawers. You can use those for pots and pans. Then we've got our full extension drawers. Again, soft close. And then look at that nice drawer. We've got dividers here. So if you want to use that for utensils, we've got all of our remotes in here can't tell you where all those go. Actually, I can tell you where they go. I just can't let you know that I might not be able to function them all or work them all. Um, now in 2019, we, we went from the removable induction cooktop to now they've given us the Wolf induction cooktop. So that's really nice. Again, we've got our cutting boards on the back side of our stovetop covers. So again, very functional. The King Air comes standard with the GE Advantium 120 microwave convection oven. So this is a really nice feature. A lot of um, my customers and some of the other lines will option in this in. It's a special that we can that Numer will add for us. So standard on the King Air, and you can break you can bake bread in this. I've had a customer that actually I w I came into their coach. They were here at National Indoor RV Center staying with us and there was this beautiful loaf of bread sitting on her countertop. I'm like, you made that in your convection microwave oven and she had. So these really do a nice job for baking as well. Then we have the Fisher Paykel dishwasher. So full extension, lots of room there as well. So no need to worry. We've got plenty of 110 outlets for all your appliances. So, so you've got your coffee pot, your mixer, your toaster, no worries. So we've got one 110 outlet here with a GFSI switch there. And then we have one, two, three over here. They're all kind of recessed into the top so you don't really see them. So all you get to look at is that beautiful backsplash that we have in the King Air. Here we have the switcher, switch for the overhead lights. We can turn our water pump on and off here. This is the switch for our fantastic fan. So we can turn it on and off and then we've got the high, medium and low. So much space in this kitchen. Now they've added this nice waste basket that's uh, secured to the cabinet door there. That's nice and big. We have the pull out tray here. And then something that I always love when they add. So we have three sink covers here. We have a spot now down below the sink that we can push those in and secure that right there. So as you're going down the road, 
they're um, not going to be rattling or making any noise if you don't have them covering your sink. So we have three covers. This year they went to the farm sink. We had that in 18 too, but they gave us a divider. So you've got two big sinks there. And one of the things I like is say you've got dirty dishes over here. I want to hide those when my guests come over. So I can just slide those two sink covers together, have, still have exposure to my sink, but I can hide my dirty dishes over here. We have the touch um, faucet here. So as you can see, as I touch it, if I had water in the coach, I could turn it on and off just by touch. And then you obviously have your spray features. So nice residential faucets. Again, another huge, huge cabinet here, tons of storage. Forgot to mention the filtered water, so this has its own filter. So Numar is really good about doing that. So let's, let's eat. On to our dining room. We've got our beautiful chairs here. We can extend our table and we've got two extra chairs that we've got stored underneath our king bed and the master. Another nice thing is that we've got some extra storage cabinets here. Here we have our residential um, refrigerator. Now in 2019 they added the raised panel doors so we don't have the stainless steel finish anymore. Kind of just finishes off the look and makes it flow with the rest of the coach. So nice big refrigerator and freezer with your ice maker here. And then of course We've got water in the door and then our lock. So we just push that to the side. It's gonna lock the top and the bottom. So as we're traveling down the road, you don't have to worry about your refrigerator doors flying open and having to clean up a huge mess. In 2019, Numar went to the new Reva shelf pantry. So you've got the lock here. You wanna make sure that's locked in before you travel. So just to unlock it, do that, pull it out. And here you have all your shelving so you've got a nice back here so nothing's going to fall behind in the pantry and then you're going to be able to see everything that you have in your pantry so a lot of times those things that we have in the very back get lost but not with this style pantry here we have the thermistor this is what's going to give the temperature reading talk to the thermostat and control the temperature of your coach then we have our ceiling high and low lights and just our ceiling lights, we can turn them on and off here. We have a new central vac, so we have the intervac this year, and you're gonna have a control when you have your wand, um, your hose is gonna attach here, and then you'll have your wand on the actual vacuum. You're gonna be able to turn that on and off at the wand, which is a nice new feature. Heading into the half bath, now again, you know that I love these handles. You're never gonna walk by. When your slides are in, you're shimmying through, you've got your jeans on, and you catch your belt loop, you're never gonna have that happen with these. I hate to say it, but I know that a lot of our spouses get relegated to the half bath. So this is a nice size half bath with a lot of storage. So we have our vanity um, medicine cabinet here, which is nice and deep. This huge cabinet, which has a lot of space and a 110 outlet in here. Then we have our basically our breaker boxes, our fuses. We've got the nice list of what fuses go to what um, items. And then we've got our spare fuses back here. Just all the nice things that Numar, little nice Numar touches. Now here to the side, I've got a panel of um, functions that I can do. I've got my, the panel for my fantastic fan. I want you to note that we've got the nice covers um, throughout the King Air on the fantastic fan vents. Now, a lot of you are gonna wanna use your, um, your fans as you're going down the road or when it's raining. So there's actually an override button. So you've got the button that turns the fan on and off and then you've got your high, medium, low and then you have the override. So if, as you're traveling, if you've got that vent cover on your roof, then you can have your fantastic fan going while you're driving or um, if it's raining outside. So that's a nice feature. Then we've got our control for our day and night shade. So again, we've got the controls for the living room area, but we don't want that to control the bathroom area. We don't want anyone getting caught in the bathroom with the blinds going up. And then we've got our light switches as well. And we have another um, uh, motion sensor 
um, button here in the bathroom. So we've got one in the kitchen, the half bath, and in the master. Down below here, we've got more storage. Actually pretty deep in there. Little spot here that we can put the toilet paper and a nice size drawer and our push button flush here for our Dometic toilet. Note the beautiful glass panel doors as we go into the master bedroom. We also have our nice wardrobe closet here as right before we enter the bedroom. This is a huge closet for the master uh, bedroom. So we can, we, we can adjust these shelves if we want to. We could take them out 100% and just have a hanging space. And then we have these nice, big, deep drawers. And then as we go into the master, we have another nice set of drawers here, along with our Blu-ray DVD player. And those have the soft clothes on them. More drawers. We've got our 49 inch um, 4K ultra high def Sony TV. We have that same size in the living room. Great little drawers for jewelry or socks, undies. Just tons of space in this master bedroom. Shouldn't be hard to get all of your stuff in the master bedroom. Then we have our king size bed, which is a sleep number. We've got the uh, charging wire, uh, wireless charging pads for your smartphones on both of your nightstands. And then we've got the 110 outlets below and the USB. Of course, we always have storage underneath our bed. So look at that storage. Again, a lot of storage. I know customers that will store their shoes in here. And then we've got our two extra chairs for our dinette. And again, more cabinets, more storage. One of the unique features um, for the King Air is that we have our emergency egress window behind the bed. Now that's a requirement by RVIA standards that we have a window, but here we've got that great, the cabinetry, the TV. So in the King Air, we've got the sliding windows, it's nice and hard, so if you want to lean up against that at night when you're reading, you can do that, and then you've got the huge window. So again, you can bring the outside in. Lots of panel, um, lots of features here at the bed. So we have all of our lights that we can turn on and off here, our shades for the bedroom, and then we have our reading lights, which again, are adjustable. You can direct those and turn them on and off individually, left and right. And then we can start our generator from here as well. And our awning retract um, button is here. Another thing, I know that you might be worried with this big window and the, and the glass panels that you can't get your bedroom dark. But again, you can make this like a, a cave. There is a pull down shade, it's just manual, back here that you can bring down and make your um, coach nice and dark in your bedroom. Here we have the slide out control for the bedroom slide. So this, uh, the driver's side of the coach is the, on the hydraulic side, the full wall slide, and then to take the bedroom slide out, which is electrical, you just push this button here in and out. Then we have our second silver leaf panel. So we can do all the functions that we can do at the dash right here um, in the master bedroom. We have our motion sensor enabler. So I need to correct myself. I actually said there are three, there are four. So we've got one in the kitchen, half bath, bedroom, and then master bathroom. And then we have our control panel for our ceiling lights and um, our courtesy lights. I talked about those when you you know get out at night, you can turn those on and off. So say you don't want the that little nice light to light your way to the bathroom or the kitchen, you can turn that off right there. All right, let's go over the silver leaf panel. So you've got one panel here in the master bedroom and then one at the dash. You can also download an app onto your phone through the My Rosie app and you can control it off your phone or your tablet. So here we have just our main information, the time, um, temperature, 38 degrees. Yeah, so that's why I'm glad I'm inside right now. And um, you can set alarms and timers from here. Just hit the panel, it will go back to your home screen. So home, these are actually um, functions and these are switches. So AC power, we just talked about that a little bit. 
We have leg one, we're connected to shore power right now. It's pulling in 31 amps of power and 120 volts. And leg two is 22 amps and 121 volts. Let's talk electricity right now. So we have, we hear the term 50 amp service. That's really an RVers term. So are you plugged into 50 amp service? So you have 50 amps coming in on leg one and 50 amps coming in on leg two. So you really have a hundred amps coming into the coach. Now, uh, going to in, into your inverters. So let's talk about inverters and what they do. Inverters really do three things. They um, convert AC to DC and DC to AC. They charge your batteries as necessary and they pass current through. As, as the current pass through, that's when they charge the batteries. So the King Air is unique um, for Newmar because it has two inverters. So you have two 3000 watt inverters. So you can see that we have inverter one is in standby mode, inverter two is off. So with your 16 house batteries on the King Air, you can run your midship AC. So your inverter takes your power from the batteries, converts the DC to AC, and then you can run your midship AC off those batteries. Okay, also I want you to note here that we've got our house batteries, they're at 13.8 volts, and our chassis batteries are at 13.6 volts, and we see this little lightning bolt. A lot of people panic when they see that lightning bolt. That just means that there's a charge bridge between those two batteries, that they're being equally charged, and they should be within two tenths of a point apart, which is exactly what they're at right now. Load shed, if we're trying to run too many things and it's, um, taxing the coach too much, it will start to shed the load. So we can turn that on and it will take care of that for us. Then we have our DC power. So right now we're in a float charge. Um, what that means is that our batteries are fully charged and so we're just floating them. If, we, if they need to have a little charge, it just kind of keeps them topped off at all times. There's three different levels. So there's bulk and that's when your batteries are low and you kind of need to accelerate and um, charge those batteries quickly and then you go into absorb so they can absorb um, the charge and then once they're fully charged you're in float mode. Gen set. So this is where we can start um, our generator, start and stop our generator. We can do that here. Water. Right now we have um, all of our tanks are empty, our fresh gray and black. Um, but this is where we could turn on the water pump or we can keep it on autofill. So if I'm in a city park, I'm probably gonna keep my um, autofill on all the time so I have consistent pressure in case there's variations with the park and there's low pressure. If I keep that on all the time, it will give me consistent pressure in the coach and it will keep my um, water tank full at all times. Then our climate button. So I like to keep it on all, that way, um, I can control the living room, kitchen, bedroom, bath with that one button. Or I can go to each individual room and set the heat um, or the, the AC to what I want. And you can just simply move that up or down. And when it's green, that means it's on. We definitely don't need the AC on today. Um, when you go to the bath, you can just do heat only and then the bedroom. So I like to go, like I said, keep it on all. You can also set your temperature so you can have a setting for what you want it to be during the day, what you want it to be at night, and what you want it to be away. So very easy, just like your home thermostat. Here we have our Oasis button. Our Oasis is our hydronic um, heating element. So basically that's how you get your on-demand hot water and your furnace when you drop below 35 degrees. So here our burner is not on. Everything is not working right now. So I can turn them on. We've got our AC number one and AC number two. Um, that's our alternating current one and alternating current two. So um, those two elements will work together to keep our, wa our water warm basically. Um, if the tank it gets below 155 degrees, it's going to, we would turn those on. It would raise the temperature to 188 degrees and then it would stay there and those lights would turn yellow and they would stay yellow until we dropped below 155 again. So you're gonna always have that hot water available for you. Then we have our floor heat. So this is one of the features that I love. The floor heat, we kind of talked about it a little bit before, but you've got um, the front floor heat, the rear, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn that front all the way up to 10 because it's chilly today, and our mid floor heat. So 
um, if I leave that on on 10 overnight, I'm going to come to this coach and it's going to be cooking. It's going to be hot. Um, your countertops might even feel a little bit warm. But I really like the floor heat because you can almost heat your coach with that, depending on how cold it is outside. Um, and you don't have to always have the furnace blowing on you. Auto gin start, that's an important button. Everyone wants to know how they can start that or, or set that. Right now I have that um, disabled, so I'm going to go ahead and enable it and then hit my next button. Here um, I can see we have the auto charger start volts. So once I drop below 12 volts, it's going to automatically um, charge for 240 minutes. Um, top off volts, if it gets below 12.5 volts, then it's going to top off runtime will be 45 minutes. And then I can also set it for quiet time. Um, I don't want my generator coming on in the middle of the night, waking up my neighbors. That doesn't make anyone happy. So I can set the time on that and how long it will run. And then if I want to exercise my generator, so I'm going to be gone and I want to make sure that on Wednesday that I exercise it. So I'm going to set the day of the week, the time and the length of time that I want it to exercise. We have the block heater, so that's for your engine block. So if it's below 40 degrees and you've got it plugged in at the engine block like I showed you when we were outside, then it will go ahead and heat your engine block. There's an internal thermostat in the engine compartment so that if it's above 40 degrees and you happen to hit that on, it will indicate that it's on, but it won't actually heat your engine block. It will protect it and not, and not heat it at that point. Then we've got the locks. That's one of my favorite things. I always get in bed and wonder if I've locked everything up. So you can just um, hit that. It will lock all the locks and you're good to go. Then you have your keypad here. This is really nice because this does some of the functions, the easy functions of the coach. So we have our lights. We can turn on the living room lights right there. We can control the shades up and down. Our awnings, entry, front main and rear main and even our TV lift in the living room. We can do that up and down from here. So then we have our camera. As you know, we have seven, I believe it's seven cameras um, for the King Air. So this is the internal camera. So right above the um, driver's seat, uh, above that cabinet there, you can see where the camera is. So you can actually see into your coach. So if you're away, as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can see inside the coach if you leave a, um, pet in the coach. You can kind of check on it um, and then it's going to scroll through all the cameras outside the coach as well. If you get a little impatient, you can just hit it and scroll through them faster on your own. And then if you want to get back to the main screen, just hold it and it'll go back to the main screen. For those of you that have to have it, again, dark like a cave, uh, you want to turn off this panel, you can just keep hitting the dim until it almost goes black. And then when you get back up, you can turn the panel right back on. A couple more features before we head into the master bathroom. First of all, I want you to notice a beautiful mirror here. They've totally encased this, unlike some other manufacturers where you might catch your pants or your shirt as you're um, going through to make your bed. So I just really like the, the way they finish that off. They think of everything. Then they've reinforced the barn door this year, so it's a little bit sturdier and quieter. And then I wanted to point out the motion detector. So this is one of the motion detectors that will turn on those courtesy lights if you have that enabled. Notice the beautiful raised panel doors. Just again, another example of numerous attention to detail and making this coach luxurious. Let's go inside and check out the master bathroom. All right, before we come into the bathroom, I wanna make sure that you know that we have a full length mirror here. Um, it's always nice to be able to see your full outfit before you leave the coach. We've got our washer and dryer, Whirlpool behind these doors. And we've got our fan uh, control here. So again, fan on and off and override, high, medium, low, and our uh, fourth motion sensor enable button here. Here we have the gorgeous master bathroom shower. So just note the beautiful tiles that they use, the pretty floor, I love the drains, and it's quite roomy. This is a 40 by 40. So you can see, once I'm in here, I've got, I'm not touching any walls or anything. We've got the soap dispensers here, then we have the different shower, um, we have the rain shower head, 
And then we have the other shower controls that you've got the wand. And then you can just simply turn on the faucet here below too. So we've got a little kick plate here if we need to shave our feet and we have the drop down shower seat. So nice and roomy, nice big shower. And note that we have the cathedral ceilings in the um, coach so that gives us a little sense that it feels, makes it feel bigger and gives us a little more headroom for those of us that are tall. Then we have this beautiful vanity. So they've changed the sink this year. So we have the big trough sink. I think that's really pretty. One of the things that I really love about this floor plan in particular is that you get all these medicine cabinets. So you have lots of space behind your mirrored cabinets here. You've got one 10 volt in there and look at all that space. I love that. I can keep my blow dryer, my curling iron up there, no problem. Keep them plugged in. Then we've got our controls for our shades in here, day shades and night shades, and all of our light controls. And we can turn on the water pump from here as well. Then we've got more storage. Kind of a common theme for this floor plan, right? Storage, storage, storage. Tons of storage in the kitchen, whole bunch in the bedroom. Now in the bathroom, we have even more. So we can take out these shelves again if we want to have full length storage, but we've got a hanging bar here, shelves, another 110 outlet, full extension drawers. Look at all that storage underneath our bathroom sink. Another set of drawers and another wardrobe storage here as well. We've got our Dometic push button flush toilet here, and then we have our emergency egress door. Again, something that only really Numar does at this level. Uh, you've got your lock and unlock, and simply unlock it. You've got your grab bar, unlock it there. Woo, nice and cool. If you've ever walked into your coach and there's an awful smell, a lot of people think it's the gray or the black tank. What it is a lot of times is that there, the water, say you haven't used your coach in a while, the water has gone, has evaporated from the pee trap. So it's just like what happens in your home. Go into that bathroom, it smells awful, you need to run some water in it. So just take a gallon of water, put that in your washing machine, run it through the rinse cycle, and the smell will be gone. All right, let's go over some of the features in the cockpit. Now, first of all, you've got two ways you can level this coach. You've got the Hadley air leveling system, and then you've got the HWH um, computerized leveling system. So if I am going to making a trip, I'm on my way there, I'm gonna pull over and stay in a parking, uh, you know, Walmart parking lot for a night, I'm probably just gonna use my air leveling. So I'm probably just do the Hadley. So to do that, I would push the SLS button, which is certain searching level surface. So I'm gonna go ahead And I've got arrows, green arrows going both directions. So it's letting me know that I can level here. Like I said before, if they were yellow and red going the other direction, most likely not being able to level. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit set. You'll hear the air um, releasing out the airbags as we were at standard ride height. Now I have a solid vertical arrows green and solid horizontal arrows green. So that I am level. So now I can go ahead, take my coach out of accessory mode, turn off the engine, and I will be, um, it will lock the, the airbags at that location, at, at that height. Now say that I am headed into a garage and I'm not quite gonna fit. Um, I, the coach is 13.4. 13 feet, four inches, and you've got about a four inch swing. You can raise it a little and you can lower it a little. So I need to lower it to make that cut. Now I wanna make sure I keep my my tire straight when I do that because I don't want the coach to sit down on it, but I can actually lower, push the lower button there and lower the coach and so I can make that clearance. Or say I'm going into a gas station and I feel like I may hit bot, I may bottom out. I can also raise it up too. So some nice features that you can do with the Hadley. Now, if we go over to the HWH computerized system, we're in travel mode right now. If I go auto level,
Now you can hear the jacks are moving and I've got two red uh, dots at the bottom of my screen here. Once I have four red dots in each corner, I'll know that I'm level and my jacks are down. All right, all four red corners are illuminated with a red dot so that I know that I'm level. Now I will turn off my engine, lock in my uh, jacks and we're, we are now ready to camp, ready to be here for a while. Now that um, I've been camping, I'm ready to go. I wanna retract my jacks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put auto store and it will start to raise it, the jacks for me. Once all the red four corner buttons are gone, then I know the jacks are up. All right, then we have our Allison transmission. So here we have our reverse, neutral, and drive. And we can also go to the mode button and press mode and we can go to economy mode and that will help you save on fuel. Um, we can also press the up arrow and the down arrow together and it will give us a little bit of information about our transmission. Um, our, our oil temp is too low, oil level invalid, oil life 99%, press it again, filters are okay, trans health is okay and there's no codes. So that's just kind of handy to have that as well. Then we have our tag dump. And so I always just keep that on auto and let, let the coach take care of that itself. We have our engine brake and we turn that on and off, or you can go to your engine brake and put that on high, medium, and low, whatever you're comfortable with. Then we have two cup holders, that's nice. The driver gets two. I know I need to tell Numar a lot of my, um, passengers are asking for two cup holders as well. We also have mobile eye here and that's your lane departure system. So you've got a device in the front of your coach. If you do, do uh, start to change lanes without turning on your blinker, it's gonna give you a haptic, a warning and a visual warning. So that is just another safety feature by Numar. Then we have the auto headlights, which are new for 2019. More lights, bright and dim. So we have our ATC, our auto traction control override button here. We have our power window button here. That's nice and smooth. Our tool window, sweet your hand out there. Great. Our air horn button, we wanna make sure that they're gonna hear us when we're going. So we wanna, got the big air horn. Otherwise, you just have kind of a, a car horn. So you wanna make sure you have that on. And then we have our house battery boost and our chassis batter, battery boost. And it's bi-directional this year. So you can boost either the house batteries or the chassis batteries from the same button so that's labeled. If you need to boost the house batteries, push it towards the house. If you need to boost the chassis, chassis batteries, push it towards the chassis. So say I come back to my coach, it's completely dead. I want to get a little boost for my house batteries. I'm going to push it towards my house batteries, get a boost enough that I can start my generator, let the generator run for a while, and then I'll be able to start my coach and everything, get everything working again. So that's a nice new feature. Um, we obviously have our parking brake. Um, and when I, uh, new for this year too, is when I, the locking of the doors and the slide rooms are controlled off the parking brake. So when I release the parking brake, then you can no longer bring the slides in or, and it will lock the doors but I can have the engine running now and bring slide rooms in and out, which gives me a higher voltage. So that's, that, that's nice. Um, we have our heated and controlled external mirrors. So we can turn the heat on there and then we can adjust those mirrors. Obviously comfort drive, that's huge. Um, that's the computer aided driving assist that Numer has that my customers that have come from other coaches that didn't have comfort drive say it's a game changer. Um, for those people that spend a lot of time on the road, they can they can drive longer with less fatigue. Um, if it feels a strong wind pushing against the coach, it's going to adjust for you automatically. And say uh, there's a camber to the road and it fills that, it's going to adjust for you automatically. So you should never be fighting your steering wheel. It should just be, you know, you can really, I don't know if I recommend it, but you can do one hand, go down the road, <laughs> drink your soda. But Comfort Drive's wonderful. Now this year for 2019, they went to the valid um, dash. We've got a 15 inch screen here and um, lots of functions here that we can go through on the dash, which is controlled right here on our smart wheel. First of all, I just want you to notice how easy it is to see everything on the dash. You've got your fuel, your temperature, oil, battery, air, air, your def. Everything's nicely labeled and right there in front of you. And then you've got your, um, we're obviously in neutral and then we'll have our speed here as well. Our 
So first of all, I'm gonna to go to my home button here, and then I'm gonna be able to scroll through the settings on my dash. So a brightness, if I hit okay, I can now adjust the brightness up or down. I'm gonna keep it right there, hit okay. And then I'm gonna go down, messages. I'm getting a message that I've got low tire pressure. It's really cold today, so that's probably why I'm getting that, that um, message. So I may wanna check that before I head out. Settings, hit okay. So I can go through different settings, diagnostics, configuration, service, units, sound. Um, now the King Air comes standard with tire pressure, pressure monitoring system. So I can see all the tires of the coach and it's giving me give their, their pressure and their temperature. So you can see here, the one that's illuminated in red was a little low, it was 73, now it's up to 74. So we should be good to go now. And I can also put tire pressure monitoring on my toe and see that here as well, which is a great feature. I can look at my tire pressure monitoring system here. And again, I'm getting a little bit of a reading for a low tire pressure. Trip information, the fuel that I've used, my average speed, um, my average economy. So that's nice information. And we have trip A, trip B, and then general information, accelerator position. And you can see I've got it in high idle mode right now. That's what the little green bunny lamp is for. And this is uh, my exhaust temperature. It's letting me know that. Engine torque, transmission temperature, boost, engine oil temp, engine load. Lots of information right here on this dash. So you can pick what you wanna see. And then adaptive cruise control, this is where I can, you can actually adjust the adaptive cruise control this year. So you can make your following distance three seconds, 3.3 or 3.6. All right, I apologize for the beeping, but I wanted to show you something. A few little safety um, things on the King Air that I like. So the beep was a warning that we were um, connected to shore power. I know that sounds silly, but I think everyone's done it once, right? Or at least I have. Um, connected to shore power. We had our jacks down. We obviously just put the jacks down. We need to retract those. And it was letting me know that I had a cargo bay that was open. So those are all very important things, especially that cargo bay, because that's one of the things we always check our jacks. We usually always check our shore power, but a bay door, it's nice to know that one's ajar. We can go out and get it shut and get on the road. Here we have our smart wheel. So right here, the little button on the side will bring your steering wheel down or up. And one of the things I forgot to mention, which is huge, 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 is that we have the memory setting button. So you've got one, two, three. So you can set this, get it right in the position that you like, hit the set button, save that, so that every time you get into your coach, it's ready for you. I love that feature. Then we also have the telescoping of the um, steering wheel. And here we have the pedal, moving the pedal forward and back so that you can make that super comfortable for yourself. We have our courtesy lights, then we have our windshield wipers, so we're gonna go ahead and just turn them on. But say we want to set our own speed, so I want it to be sort of intermittent. I'm gonna go ahead and press this button here. Count, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, hit it again. Now that's the speed I've set it at. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, and it will stay at that speed. Or I can turn it off, and we also have a high-low mode too here as well. Then over here, this is our control for our dash, which I just showed, and our horn. And then just moving on to our great camera that we get with the King Air. We have seven cameras on the King Air. So you can see that we've got lots of different views, front, driver's side, passenger side, rear, and then our three different hitch views. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through all these. See across the parking lot. And then our three hitch views. 
Now my favorite view when I'm driving is I like to have the 360 camera on. So it's hard to tell when we're parked here um, in the parking lot, but when we're driving around the road, I'm gonna be, be able to see all the cars in front of me, to the side of me, and behind me, and then I'm gonna have my rear, my rear camera view there. So I really like that. I also have the interior camera, which is part of the security system. So I have a great colored shot there of the inside of my coach. If I left a pet in here, I can kind of check on them. Nice little feature. And our trailer cams, which we don't have a trailer hooked up, so we don't need to see that. But you can see the different views, split views here. And then you can always go back to your favorite. So these buttons along here, we have our front, um, our overhead fans, and then we have the front fan with high, off, and low. And then our overhead fans, high, medium, and low. Our docking lights are turned on, so those are going to make sure that we get into our parking lot safely at night. Courtesy lights. And those are right here in the coach so that we can see where we're going when it's night. We can start the generator from right here, so we can start that from our silver leaf control panel um, in the front of the coach. In the uh, master bedroom, we can start it from underneath the, when, when I'm laying in bed, I can start my generator. Um, lots of options here. And then I can lock the front door from right here. We have our visor. This is our driver's side visor. So I can just push that up. And then I've got my front visor. Or if I want to bring down that shade so I have some privacy. Then we have our AC controls here, our HVAC override, and then we've got nice little storage compartments that we can put our keys into, remotes, whatever, nice and handy. Here we have our wire, wireless charging pad, which is great. Just set your phone up there and it's going to charge while you're going down the road. Another thing that Numar does, it just makes it really handy. If you ever have to fix anything or get to the wiring on the dash you just simply lift up there and you can access that without going underneath or in into your um, nice dash area so you've got that access point and you have another let's see if i can do it without breaking a nail okay another access point right there all right we're getting ready to head out for a test drive Come and join us, but first we've got to bring in the slide, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in the bedroom slide. I also check to make sure I lock the shower door, check my wardrobes, make sure everything's shut, make sure you lock the refrigerator, that your dishwasher's locked, just a few little things you can add to your checklist. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring my full wall slide in, so I've checked the uh, refrigerator door and freezer to make sure they lock that. Also check the pantry door because that has a lock on it and the dishwasher. And I brought my over the air antenna in and my satellite dish, I made sure that was down. And again, a few more things for your checklist. And then I'm just going to go ahead. You'll see that that room's gonna actually lift up and come over. You also want to make sure that your driver's seats, your captain's chairs are far enough up that they don't hit the wall because that, that will take them, it will really uh, cause you some problems. <laughs> and my passenger side. And now my passenger side. All right, slides are in. You can see that I can still easily get into my half bath. I can get into my pantry. My refrigerator and freezer. And then look at all the space that I have. Again, I told you that this kitchen was the chef's delight. It really is. I can be cooking while we're driving down the road. I have full access to my cooktop. I still have tons of counter space and I still, have access to my sink. 
Now one of the things that I talked about that I like to do with the recliners, if I have this space, I still have plenty of room here with my dinette, but I turn this recliner sideways opens that pathway up even a, a little bit more. Also, this year in the 19, they've made that televator cabinet a little bit narrower, so we have more, that's giving us a little bit of extra space as well. All right, before we head out for our test drive, I want to give you just a little bit of a, a driving tip. One of the big differences between driving a Class A diesel coach compared to a gas coach or your car, your turning point, draw the line straight up, it's gonna be right in front of the slide and behind the passenger window there. So when you're sitting, make sure that you're looking right behind the slide, right in front of the slide, that's where your turning point will be. Okay, coach is on. We've disconnected from the shore power cord and we're ready to go. All right, so we have our keyless, or our, um, keyless start. So let me show you a few features here. So I'm just gonna put my foot on the brake, just barely push it and I will go into accessory mode. That shows that I'm in accessory mode. If I wanna go ahead and start the coach now, I'm gonna put the, my foot on the brake again, hold the green button. Easy as that. So when I release the parking brake, you can hear the steps come in, automatically locks my baggage doors, and um, we're ready to hit the road. All right, new for 2019, I wanted to point out that they've added the predictive lines on the rear camera, which really helps you when you're um, in reverse. Okay, so we're getting up to our first true uh, right turn. So again, I want to visually think about where my turning point is, right in front of that slide room. And then I'm gonna pull out, put my blinker on, pull out when that's at the turn then I'm going to easily make that turn I can watch my bottom mirror there make sure I don't get too close to the curb I did great <laughs> so again when you're traveling down the road um, I don't recommend always being in the left lane I want you to hug the left side of the lane of whatever lane you're in Everything bad happens on the right. So that's what I, when I was first um, taught how to drive a coach, hug the left lane, hug the left lane. If I heard it once, I heard it like a million times because for some reason you naturally, or I naturally wanted to go right. So as you drive, you get more comfortable. Um, it becomes easy to do and you, you feel yourself in the center of the lane. I think that's another thing that's uncomfortable too when you first start driving a coach is you feel like you're not gonna fit inside the lane. Well, obviously you do but it's just unnatural at first because it's so big. So again, I talked a little bit about Comfort Drive. Comfort Drive is that computer-aided driving assist. Right now, I've got my dial on like four and a half. I like to keep it at the higher numbers when I'm doing freeway driving. When I'm in a parking lot, I'll turn it all the way down to one and just, I can easily turn the steering wheel with my pinky finger. So I'm gonna try to, um, demonstrate the mobile eye here when I've got some and I don't have cars around me but when I start to uh, depart from my lane without putting on my signal it should give me a haptic so I should fill it in my seat and then I should hear an alarm as well so can you hear that little beep and I can definitely fill it in my seat as well so I love that it's very it's not annoying it's not gonna wake up any of my passengers but it does give me a little alert that I've changed lanes without putting on my blinker. The King Air comes standard with the collision mitigation system. I told you earlier that that has, you can set the following distance from three seconds to 3.3 to 3.6. We can control that. Right now, my collision mitigation system is on. Right, right now you can see that my CMS is on and you can see the distance of the cars in front of me. And when I get on the freeway, I'll go ahead and turn on my cruise control and uh, show you how it works when you're uh, using your cruise control. So I like to travel with um, my engine brake on high. When I'm driving something this big and this heavy, um, I've got 605 horsepower horses pushing me forward. So when I go to brake, if I have that engine brake on high, I have 605 uh, horsepower pushing me back too. So here we are. Go to my camera. I like to have that view where I've got the bird's eye view and all the cars around me. 
go ahead and get into my lane here. And I'm going to put on my cruise control. Cruise, cruise control is on the little um, handle over here to the side of the steering wheel. I'm going to turn that on. And I think I'm going to set it at 65. So you can see the dial came up on my dash with the car and the little timer. It shows that my cruise control is set at 65. And you can see the following distance of the cars in front of me. The King Air also comes with electronic stability control. So that's going to help you if you are, um, if you have to make a quick, you know, swerve out of your lane to avoid hitting someone, it's going to help keep you upright and keep that control of the coach. Gotten too close, so it's going to slow us down just a little bit. All right, so I always like to show the decibel reading while we're going down the road. So, in this coach, this is as quiet as a luxury car at 78.7. So, I know a lot of people are a little bit um, hesitant or nervous about driving a big Class A diesel, and I have to be honest. Newmar makes it so easy. Um, there it is, I just went out of my lane just a little bit and it, it gave me another warning. <laughs> um, but basically with the mobile eye, the electronic stability control, adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation system, comfort drive, this coach is easier to drive than my Toyota Sequoia. Um, really, I've got all these cameras, all these different angles. I love the bird's eye view, probably one of my favorite things. Um, just gives me a little reassurance so I can look down there and see everything that's around me. So it's really, um, don't be scared about driving a coach. They're a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the 2019 Newmar King Air floor plan 4534. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost you. The manufactured suggested retail price, which is the only price we're allowed to give, due to the manufacturer is $966,836. Now, if you wanna know what National Indoor RV Centers can sell you this coach for, please pick up the phone, give me a call, 469-277-1120. Go to our website, nirvc.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe.